What's going on guys, I'm back with another video, and in this one I'll be doing a French Fast Industrial Grenadier strat. And man, this strategy is so solid on this map, especially because of the yak, so I'll try to get as many as possible. But don't get me wrong, you can try this strategy on any map, I did so, and I actually won a lot of games on different maps as well, but this is probably the best version of this strategy. And the idea behind it is to get it to Industrial Age as fast as possible, and then meanwhile you send the church card, then in total you'll have 27 grenadiers in about 12 minutes as well as 8 dragoons from shipment. So you get five, uh, 4 grenadiers for 500 food in colonial age and it upgrades them to fortress, 12 for 1000 food in fortress age and it upgrades them to industrial age so you now have industrial age grenadiers. And then you have another big 15 batch for 2000 food but then they get imperial so you have 27 imperial grants and that is OP. What can your opponent do against this? Like, Cav won't even kill them, so that's how good they are. And you'll be fighting against most likely H2 to H3 units by that time, so it's pretty much GG good game. So yeah, we're about to see the replay, and I'm going to be explaining what I did, what I could have done differently, and you're just going to see how powerful this strategy is. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so as you can see, I made the market, got the hunting dogs upgrade. And I'm gonna be do I'm gonna be making 14 villagers as usual. Nothing too fancy. I should be chopping a bit more wood, however, because I only have 56. And I was trying to kill his Mongol scout because if I kill his, well then he won't get as many yaks, and I can get all the yaks for myself. So that's awesome. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I get my Euron scout or native scout. Uh, scout, yeah, and my as well as my uh, my cat Mongo Scout to help my explorer kill his explorer, and then eventually kill his scout. But you'll see if it works or not. I'm not gonna say anything yet. But as you can see, I'm trying to make that house so a little delayed, but it's not gonna be too bad. But yeah, the Iroquois or Hudo Hodonosani, I'm not sure how it's called. Explorer is very good, so he killed mine. But I should be able to kill his Mongol scout, so that's cool. Right, he won't have any scouts left, ex uh, except his explorers, so he won't be able to get as many cows. Unfortunately though, I lose my... Um, yeah, it's a Yuron scout, so yeah, I lose that. So that's unfortunate, but I'll be able to kill his uh, Mongol scout. So, still pretty good for me, because the Mongol scout is really good. He pretty much... He's the one that's gonna get all your, uh, all your yaks, so... I kill him, even though there was the 0 HP glitch, so it took me one more swing, but mine will survive, get all of that town center, he should have put all his villagers in it to try to kill my Mongol scout, but he was too healthy, so it didn't matter, uh, I, th I don't think it would have mattered either if he put all his villagers in his town center. And here comes his um, hero, so I'm automatically in my mind, I'm like, I want to kill this guy, so I will actually. And he was pretty much full HP. Well, no, but like half HP, so it wasn't a mistake on his part, but then I get pretty much all the yaks in the map, on the whole map, so that's very good for me. And sure, I'm, I'm quite lucky right now, but no, the strategy works on different maps as well. I tested it, I also got another replay, so I'll be able to make a video about it next time. Just give me 20 likes on this video, and I'm gonna make that for you, so... Back to this game, I'm aging up with those 14 villagers, I'm putting a lot on wood, I could put a bit more than 7, but my explorer is dead, so I won't be able to get that TP. Um, I'd rather just get the axe, honestly, and I don't feel like I need the TP because I can get that church, which actually gives me XP as well, so that's great. And the TP are like slow, it's a, it's a big TP line, so I don't mind waiting and not getting any. But yeah, I get placer mines. I get also red coats, um, just in case he attacks me. Because you know, as you may know, the I'll just say Iroquois. It's easier for me. They um, rush usually. But yeah, I get 126 wood in the bank just to be able to get that steel traps as soon as I age up. I put a lot of bills on coin to be able to get it as well. Because you need 125 wood, 125 coin, so I'll be able to get it. He ages up just a little bit for me, so that's not a big problem. And look at all those yaks, seven, that's perfect. And you know what you do when you have seven yaks? You slap down that livestock pen. You gotta do it, like, it's very good. I know it costs a lot of wood, but it's worth it. And you'll see what I do. 
So yeah, obviously, first of all, send in the four vills, get that st uh, steel traps as soon as possible. You always want to do this. But always the order in this order. Four vills first, and then steel traps. You also want to have a villager though queued up, so you get everything at the same time. No seconds lost. And that's just the ideal way to do it. I make it bar uh, a barrack in case he rushes me. But yeah, that's only in case if he rush me I'll be able to maybe make like five musketeers minute mans plus the CDBs and be able to defend it and since I have all those yaks I'd be able to still do probably the fast industrial in that case but as you may know it's pretty obvious he, he he's not gonna rush and that's why I'll be able to do this strategy so yeah we're almost six minute in I have almost 300 coin, then I'll put all of the, all my fills on food, get the 700 coin. And yeah, no TP's kind of hurt. Um, I, But I really couldn't get any, to be honest. So that's unfortunate. But still, I get XP there and I'll be... Oh, and actually I won't send the 700 coin. Okay, I didn't know that. But yeah, I'm just saving that shipment. And that's not a bad move. Because I actually have almost all the food already plus the coin um, almost all the coin so actually that's a smart move because I'll be able to sa uh, save a shipment by doing so it will pretty much like make it up for the TP I didn't build So yeah, I'll be able to age very quickly, very soon. And the micro is pretty good. I mean, I'm 200 food over, so a bit too much food. But still, it's not too bad. And I actually sell a couple. Not a bad trade. Always do it if it's just like 75, or I think it's 100 food for 75 points. Always do it if you need to. And yeah, my micro is still pretty good. I still feel like I should have gotten that TP during transition, try to wake up my explorer with the mongol scout so that's a slight mistake i made but i don't think it's a like huge deal <coughs> so i get gang saw because you're gonna need to chop a lot of wood at least get gang saw you don't need the second wood upgrade but this one is kind of key it's only 100 food so it's very worth it plus 10 percent uh wood gather rate for your villagers and keep in mind, 10% for CDBs is much better than a regular villager because CDBs gather, I think it's like one, it's 0 0.84 uh, food per second for a normal villager. A CDB, I think it's like 1.04, something like that. I, I don't know it by heart, but it's, it's 0.2 more at least. And yep, I chop wood for exactly what I said get that livestock pen and I don't mind I'm actually age I uh, age three now I send in the three thousand uh, the 1000 coin and the church card so there's two ways of doing it pretty much you can not choose to not send in the 700 coin and not get a TP or get the TP and send I mean the 700 coin so it's up to you on this map I mean I don't I didn't really need that TP though because I have so many yaks and I, I'd rather just get all the yaks and who cares about the TP. So I don't know, both, I think both options are valid, both are good. But I keep making bills and I can almost age up, I have the 500 coin, all you need to do, uh, the 1000 coin, all you need to do is just mine 200 coins, so you have 1200 coin in total and then you'll be able to age up to industrial age. So it's 9 minute 17 and I'm aging up, so it's actually pretty good timing. And you need a lot of houses for your grenadier, so that's one thing you gotta keep in mind. You have to chop a lot of wood. So all my fills, well half of my fills are on wood, the other half are on food. And I drop that church because it gives me XP, so the sooner you drop it the better. Obviously you want to drop the livestock pen first because it's gonna make your yaks fight and faster. And then the church. So yeah, church is actually a good, pretty good building now because it gives you XP from building it plus XP from just uh, getting the 
well, just an XP trickle, so it's very good. And I'm making the four grenadiers for 500 food, and they're already veteran because of that. So I'm making some more houses. Obviously, you need a lot of houses. Because I think the Grenadiers, they count as like two population each, even when they come come out of the, the church. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So you get you need to get a lot of houses, and you're going to send in the eight goons as soon as you reach age four. And look at that timing. I get a shipment right on time. So I'm pretty pleased by my performance in this one. I always age up with the two falconets, it's just the best option. I mean, you can age up with the three uh, cuirassiers if you want, but it's not really as good as the two falconets. So now I get the 1000 grenadiers and perfect timing, I can kill all those yaks. Like I said, on, di on a different map, you get you probably get that TPN sent in the 700 coin, so you'd be able to get that food from the nearby hunts instead of the yaks, and pretty much it adds up perfectly, and it, it, there's not a big difference. But now he comes in, and it's only 11, uh, 11 minutes and 35 seconds in the game, so I have to wait a little. I need a, a bit more food. And I'll be able to get my Grenadiers and get them Imperial. So yeah, I try to not lose any Vils. And there you go, 2000 food. So I click on that. I'll get it by close to 12 minutes. So that's actually a pretty good timing. But yeah, if I got that TP... And that 700 coin, maybe I would have gotten them a bit sooner. But yeah, now it's time to attack and I'm just gonna wreck him because he only has H2 units. Like I said, usually they get H2 units at that time. And look at them, just explode. And now you can send in your factories and chill after that. So that's what's really nice about this strategy. And look at all the XP I'm getting, it's crazy. And I didn't have too many houses, so that was actually perfect. I, uh, at, the thing is, I actually lost a couple food from the Yaks because of that, but that's not a big deal. And at this point, it's going to be really hard for him to defend against those Grenadiers. And actually two Falconets, plus only two Dragoons left. But, I mean, you can I can make a, sa a stable and just get more Dragoons, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, as I was saying, if you play on a different map, send in the 700 coin as well. And then put more villagers on food instead of like chopping wood and all. Um, but I mean, you'll have time, because you age up so fast, you'll have time to have more wood, more food. And it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be pretty similar to this strategy. The only difference is you don't get the yaks. But yeah, I'll show you in the next video. But... That's probably the last fight. I just wreck him. Totally obliterated. And it's very it's a very fun strat. It's a cool strat and a troll one as well. So it's just very fun. But it's actually it works, so that's that's a cool part about it. And finally I will get that TP, because why not? And look at my eco, like that's friends. So OP. But yeah, the Yaks are overkill. Like I have 1.4k food left. That's pretty OP. And there you go, GG. So, I don't think we need to check the post game. It was pretty straightforward, I believe. But yeah, give me 20 likes, and in the next video, I'll show you the the other strategy with the Grenadiers. It's another very optimized version, but just on a different map. So, another example. So, I hope you liked the video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.